I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. This is the one. This is the one that's going to change everything. This is Black Adam. Five thousand years ago, Kandak was a melting pot of cultures, wealth, power, and magic. Yet most of us had nothing except for the chains around our necks. Kandak needed a hero. Instead, they got me. I did what needed to be done, and they imprisoned me for it. Now, 5,000 years later, I'm free. And I give you my word. No one will ever stop me again. I have a knack for destroying bullies. But there are some who think I need help. Hawkman. Dr. Fate. And their new recruits. Cyclone. And Adam Smasher. They call themselves the Justice Society. An organization that believes in fighting for truth and justice. Well, I'm going to teach them that the only beliefs I fight for are mine. Welcome to Truth, Justice, and the Black Adam Way. So, as you guys can see, we are cooking up something pretty badass and, and certainly a lot of fun that we are all excited about to deliver to you guys. Um, and I can't wait to show you more. You know, I always thought that it might be cool to hang out with Superman. And that would be cool, right? I mean, we're kind of similar in terms of our powers, our strengths, our speeds. Because look, at the end of the day, you never know. Black Adam and Superman could become friends. Or they won't. Who knows? Maybe we'll see. But before I go, I want you guys to help me out with something. It's something that's pretty important. I need you guys to help me get a message out to, uh, to some of the other ones. Some of the other DC superheroes. Let's let Flash Shazam, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. Let's let them know something. Things will never be the same because the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? This is gonna be my Black Adam trailer video. I was surprised about how much he showed off at DC Fandom. There's a bunch of Easter eggs, obviously hyping up a big crossover with the Justice League and Superman. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. There's a couple other big DC movie trailers that they dropped and they also talked about Shazam too. So I will explain what's going on with that because that's tangentially tied to the Black Adam movie, even though he and Black Adam aren't gonna cross over till like Shazam 3 or Black Adam 2. But we're doing a new Amazon giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and let me know what you're most hyped up to see in the Black Adam movie. So we'll just start at the beginning of this, talk about the footage, then talk about the big crossovers that he was talking about during that panel. So the footage just starts with the introduction and his voiceover talking about how he's waited for this moment for a long time. That's actually him speaking as Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. It's literally been over 10 years at this point since he started trying to get a Black Adam movie going at DC and Warner Brothers. But as the footage kind of goes down through this tomb here, this is just meant to be the tomb that he's been imprisoned in for thousands of years before escaping in present day during the movie. They revealed the official logo of the movie. Obviously, it's meant to be a twist on the Shazam movie logo because their powers come from the same place. They also did a Shazam 2 panel separately and revealed a bunch of details about that movie. Shazam 2 is actually going to be called Shazam Fury of the Gods. I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of this video after I talk about all the Black Adam movie stuff. 
But then the trailer does the Black Adam backstory, starting in Kondok 5,000 years ago in the Middle East and how back then magic was a much bigger thing publicly as opposed to present day when Shazam the Wizard, other magic characters in the DCEU largely operate from the shadows hidden from public view. The Shazam movie kind of turned that on its head though because they did all that on the evening news. So just like after the Man of Steel movie, the world was like aliens, oh wow, this is a big thing. We know the aliens exist now and then Justice League happens and even more aliens come to planet Earth. Now magic is a much more public thing in present day. The version of Black Adam's history that they're going with in the trailer here is the slave backstory just to make him feel a little more sympathetic, more of an underdog because he's going to be an anti-hero during the movie. Most of the other trailer footage in his voiceover kind of implies that. The slaves all needed a hero, but instead of a hero, they got him, like he never saw himself as a hero. Then they launch into a larger version of that Shazam magical PowerPoint that the wizard gave to Billy about Black Adam. He says, quote unquote, I did what needed to be done and they imprisoned me for it. So obviously he's talking about his big battle with the Council of Wizards at that time for releasing the seven deadly sins. But the way he narrates it during the Black Adam trailer implies that he did that to help the slaves and take down the more powerful people that were abusing them. But you do see him fighting a much younger version of the wizard Shazam, so Jaime and Hansu will be featured during the movie for this part of the backstory, but I don't know how big he's going to be during the movie. When he says 5,000 years later he escapes, you see that purple jewel, that's not supposed to be Eclipso or the Heart of Darkness or anything like that. I think this is just implying that Black Adam was imprisoned in that purple jewel, just like the Seven Deadly Sins were imprisoned in this magical sphere. But he says he breaks free in present day and you see Kondok laying in ruins around him. It's been 5,000 years, so that's not a huge surprise. But then here he says that no one will ever stop him again and it seems like he's busted in on some warlord's throne room, killed him, and seized control of the region again. So this is obviously just teasing that part of the story of the Black Adam movie will be him taking control of Kondok again or trying to rebuild Kondok in this part of the region. Then you see them launch into this big Justice Society part of the trailer where it seems like Hawkman and Dr. Fate are teaming up with him in the Middle East in present day to take down some warlord's military force. The reason why these characters are relatively important in the DCEU to Black Adam is because they're also ancient, extremely long lived. Dr. Fate is just a title that's passed down to each person who wears the helmet of fate, which acts like a conduit for the cosmic magical being Naboo, who's a god in his own right. And then you all know that Hawkman reincarnates, so that's how he's been alive this whole time since the original time of Black Adam thousands of years ago. The Rock revealed during this panel that they also had Hawk Girl in the movie too for a little while, but for some reason they had a problem and had to take her out. He said that he'd explain the full story behind that at some point, but usually that happens because the character is being used in some other movie. Then he introduces the new characters for the Justice Society. He calls them their new recruits. Adam Smasher, played by Noah Centineo, who you remember from a bunch of Netflix stuff recently, in Cyclone. They didn't really say much about her during the movie other than seeing that she got a big costume upgrade. But Noah Centineo joined the panel to explain what's going on with his version of Adam Smasher during the movie. He said that he's a brand new superhero, hot off the presses, and he's not really big on the superhero life. So part of his arc in the movie is all about finding out what it means to be a hero and then deciding to fully embrace life on the Justice Society. Then The Rock makes a bunch more references to Superman movies, truth, justice, in the Black Adam way. But just in general, based on a lot of this footage, it seems like a lot of the story is going to take place in this Middle Eastern region in the world in present day, outside of the flashbacks to explain his backstory from thousands of years ago. But then he actually goes on talking about which other modern Justice League characters he wanted to cross over with. He talks about Wonder Woman just because they have a lot in common. They both come from the world of gods and magic. But then he really, really talks a lot about fighting Superman. The whole joke about how he feels like we'd really get along or maybe we won't. Wink, wink. I think the reason why he's doing that is because he's just trying to hype up this new contract that Henry Cavill is supposedly signing to cameo in a bunch of upcoming DC movies. So punch that fight card, Black Adam vs Superman coming 2022. But then he takes it one step further and starts trash talking the entire Justice League, like let him know, put him on notice, and he even calls out Shazam and Batman. We always knew that he was going to cross over with Shazam and just pound the crap out of the shazam -ly in the sequels. But it's actually news to me that they plan on crossing him over with the Justice League at some point because that sounds like what he's trying to hype up. Eventually he will cross over with the full blown version of the Justice League. I know there's a lot of questions about what's going to happen with future Justice League sequels. There's been a lot of rumors out there. I think it's going to be a long time before they try another Justice League movie. 
But on the other side of things with Shazam, Zachary Levi has said that the plan is to eventually put Shazam in the next Justice League movie. So it also sounds like The Rock is also saying that Black Adam would show up during the next Justice League movie too. When they said that the title of Shazam 2 is going to be Fury of the Gods, I think the gods that they're referring to are the gods that the Shazamli's powers are actually based on. But they also tease the magic lands, so as you would expect, the sequels will get bigger and bigger in terms of scope and mythology just deepening the world of the magic side of the DCEU. But everyone, let me know in the comments what are you most hyped up about for the Black Adam movie? It just sounds like it's going to be super hardcore, so I'm excited to see some more footage. But I'm also still working on my Flash movie teaser video that should post in the next day or so. And there were a couple other trailers for TV stuff that I'll try to do this week too. And if you're a big fan of super hardcore superhero series, The Boys Season 2 is premiering next week. I'll be doing videos for all the episodes. It is super hardcore. You guys have no idea if you haven't been watching that series already. Congratulations to the giveaway winner for my DC Fandom merch giveaway. RNG Wexton, please email me on the about page of my channel so I can get your contact details. Everyone click here to watch the Batman trailer a billion more times and click here for the Suicide Squad movie trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.